King Von's sister spotted with Quando Rondo in public. Since the death of King Von, his half-sister, Kayla B., has been defending him against those speaking down on her brother. She's been present on social media responding to fans and other artists on behalf of her deceased brother. Now, she's been spotted with the man who was directly involved in the murder of her brother, Quando Rondo. Welcome to Lime Report. Today, we'll be telling you everything you need to know about this situation one detail at a time, so be sure to pay close attention. Before we get into this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword Kayla for a chance of winning our giveaway. Now, back to the video. Kayla was recently seen in public confronting Quando Rondo in a Georgia shopping center. It was reported that Kayla was seen yelling at Quando Rondo while being held back by multiple security guards. Quando Rondo's Georgia concert had already had a couple of shots fired, so everybody was on edge. The security guards were not willing to take any risks and held Kayla B back, far from Quando Rondo. Kayla continued to yell threats until she was no longer able to and left. The leaked report stated that Quando stayed quiet and let the situation de-escalate, which was smart on his part. Quando Rondo has a lot going on for him at the moment with his performance and upcoming album, so he needed to stay out of the drama Kayla came with. Confronting Quando Rondo is not all that Kayla has been up to lately. Most recently, Kayla B called out Asian Doll to clear the air that she and Vaughn were not together prior to his passing. She also recently got into a physical altercation with Cuban Doll. Kayla B is still clearing the air. Most recently, fans have been accusing Kayla B of being in love with her late brother after old tweets have resurfaced on the internet. Fans claimed that Kayla was too invested in King Von's personal life and lewd that the two could possibly have had incestuous ties. Kayla B stepped on her Instagram Live to address the claims that she is in love with her brother. Get y'all a sick nasty butts on. Do I look like I'm down south? She said. Me and my brother are from Chicago. We're not from down south where people get with their brothers and sisters. All y'all that saying that? I hope y'all grandma die, cause that's some nasty stuff, stated Kayla. Fans even went as far as suggesting that the two dated before having knowledge that they were related, but Kayla B sticks to her story. I'ma say this one time and one time only. Number one, I always knew Vaughn was my brother. My daddy had us around when we were little and everything. But of course, when my dad passed, we got separated. But come on now, who wants to forget their brothers and sisters, she stated. Kayla then calls out those who are fans of King Von entertaining the rumors. And if y'all so-called Von fans, y'all wouldn't even be saying that stuff, she said. Let's be honest, that stuff was up there. Y'all, most of y'all have seen them pictures, been seeing all that stuff. Why y'all waited till he passed away to say something like that? Cause he would have treated all y'all, Kayla exclaimed. Quando Rondo has been busy in the studio lately. As a result of his close proximity to the tragic situation that resulted in King Von's untimely demise, Quando Rondo is one of the most polarizing rising rappers in the music industry at the moment. Several fans of King Von and Chicago rapper in general have, of course, concluded Quando Rondo as the bad guy in Von's death. But The Breakfast Club host Angela Yee's recent interview with NBA Youngboy's signee suggests that there's much more to the story than hip-hop fans originally thought. Following claims that he didn't snatch King Von's chain and killing rumors that he was recently shot, Quando Rondo has decided to capitalize off the smoke surrounding his name by dropping off a new project titled Still Taking Risks. The lead single from the album, End of Story, racked up 15 million views on YouTube and raised a lot of eyebrows from fans simply because of the assumption that the record was a diss toward the late OTF rapper. During his sit-down with Angela Yee, he diffused those rumors surrounding the single. Me saying end of story is just me saying this is the end of the story, Quando said, explaining that the song was supposed to be the last time he touched on the topic. I had no intentions. To be honest with you, ma'am, I, I didn't even know bro has three or four songs called Crazy Stories. To solidify his claims, Quando called one of his associates he describes as his big brother on the phone. The rapper tells Yee that he was at his friend's house when they made the song and the friend confirmed that dissing Vaughn wasn't their goal. Laced with 15 records and three bonus records, Quando Rondo decided to have no features intact, and the fans are loving it. Rapper 6ix9ine even joined in on the fun to praise Quando himself. 
6 ix 9 believes Quando Rondo currently exceeds himself as the most disrespectful rapper at the moment. 6 ix 9 was asked by his friend and renowned hip-hop instigator DJ Akademix during an interview on an Instagram Live on Tuesday, May 4th, who he believes is the most disrespectful drill rapper besides himself. Disrespectful and really like that? I'd give it to Quando Rondo, 6 ix 9 responded. That's all for this video. Thanks for sticking to the end. Make sure to leave a comment keyword Kayla for a chance of winning our giveaway. See you next time at Lime Report.